Okay, so you need to solve for x in the equation 4x equals 3xy minus 2. And your question is, should you divide by x or should you divide both sides by 3x minus 2? Um, actually, I don't know that either one of those is going to get you where you want to go. But um, let's play with those real quick and just see what happens. If we were to divide both sides by x first, let's try that. Okay, first these x's over here would cancel. That's easy enough. We'd have 4. On this side, though, we have 3xy over x and negative 2 over x. So we'd end up with 3y minus 2 over x because we can't cancel anything on the this second term over here. We can cancel the x's in the first term, but we can't cancel anything in the second term. So then if we wanted to get x by itself, we'd have to... Um, well, we could add 2x to both sides. We'd have 4 plus... 2, uh, sorry, 2 over x, 4 plus 2 over x equals 3y. We're getting a lot closer to solving for y than we are to solving for x. Um, we'd have to, to get x out of the denominator, we're going to have to multiply by x again. Um, and that's going to take us right back where we started. So I'm thinking that's pretty much a dead end as far as getting x by itself. Um, we could try dividing by your 3x minus 2. Let's try that. What if we divided both sides by 3x minus 2? Now first of all over here we're going to have 4x over 3x minus 2 because we can't cancel either one of those. This term is not a factor of this in any way. So that's we can't do anything with that right now. So then over here we'll have 3xy minus 2 over 3x minus 2. Um, now there aren't anything, there isn't anything common between 3xy and 2, so there's nothing I can factor out. And there's nothing common between 3x and negative 2 either, so there's nothing I can factor out here either. So that just leaves this side as 3xy minus 2 over 3x minus 2. Again, I don't think that's getting us where we want to go. So let's take a look at another option here. Here's what I would probably do if it was me. I would go through and the first thing I would do is subtract that 3xy from both sides. Instead of dividing first at all, I'd subtract. So what if we subtracted this from over here, 3xy, and subtracted 3xy from over here. Then we'd have 4x minus 3xy on the left and negative 2 on the right. Then we could dis or, uh, reverse distribute, factor, this x out of both of these terms. And we'd have an x outside and 4 minus 3y inside. And that's because this term is exactly the same as this, right? If I took x times 4, I'd get 4x, and x times negative 3y would be negative 3xy. So I haven't changed, I've just rewritten it. And that equals negative 2. Then I could divide both sides by this, 4 minus 3y, and that would cancel over here. Sorry, bad y. It would cancel over here, and we'd have 4 minus 3y over here. Now we have x by itself, so we've solved that equation for x. x equals negative 2 over 4 minus 3y. So that's the way I would recommend doing that one. Um, don't actually do a division first at all. Do a subtraction first so that you can factor out that x, and that's how you would get it by itself so that you could solve for it.